It's 25 years this week since the TV cameras entered the chamber in Leinster House. And to mark the occasion, and because our focus today is women in politics, here's a short montage of just some of the highlights of those 25 years. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. The women of Ireland, Manon Heron, who instead of rocking the cradle, rocked the system. <laughs> Man made the car. I think when women come in, the quality of the women that come in shines through. I think what they achieve, you can readily sit down and list what they achieve when they come in, and they have a huge commitment to doing the job. I think they need to be fired up. They need to have a little bit of passion. How dare you attempt to have the arrogance to interpret the Constitution when that is only something Question. which our courts can do. Question, that please. is a fact. Why would I wish to restrict the white rights of women, uh, the right of, li right of life uh, to women, to Irish women? I am a woman. I am an Irish woman. Why would I want to do that? Can you, Tarnish, the give a commitment that you will not allow unpaid water bills to be deducted at source from people's wages, pensions or social welfare? Resume your seat, but then leave the house. I am now faced with either supporting the bill or being booted out of the party, my party, and I am not going to allow myself to be booted out. Just because the going gets tough doesn't mean you run away. You stay with it, you stay with it, and I want to invite, Deputy Kenny has joined us, I want to invite De Deputy Kenny, in one area of healthcare, cancer, can we have the kind of approach we had to Northern Ireland? Think again. Don't plunge us into what we went through in 83, in 92, in 95. It's too much and it doesn't reflect well on any of us. The Fianna Fáil government do not have a mandate from the people to join it. In fact, they have the mandate to do the opposite. They have a mandate to oppose joining Partnership for Peace. So I'm not willing to endorse their decision. To... No fault divorce based on the four years of a dead marriage is a far better solution than finding blame. I would not have done this willy-nilly. I thought about it. I uh, double-checked and treble-checked my sources. And I'm confident uh, to the extent that I can be confident. This is a man, this is a man's well. Oh, yeah. I listen to what you have said, Deputy. Luckily, as a woman of compassion, I don't take threats. The least she deserves is that the Sinn Féin president calls off the dogs of war on Maria Cahill. A man's world. Oh, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman. Our girl. No more consultation between church and state on IVF on abortion services, on stem cell research, on Ireland's support for family planning in the third world. I remember all those people perhaps who left this country and uh, who suffered in silence because we weren't able to be inclusive uh, up to this point. And many people have paid a very heavy price for that. I would love to hear Michal Martin saying in Dáil Éireann, we, you have all followed the plan Brian Lenehan laid down. He doesn't say it openly. He would do himself a lot of good, I feel. I did not in any way engage in or assist tax evasion, as has been alleged. And the allegations that have been made about me personally are false and unfounded. This is women now. You can't even give way to somebody who wants to give you information. Come on, come on. Come on now, please. For the sake of the dignity of this House, and indeed the women of Ireland who are represented here by all of us, to ask the Taoiseach to withdraw the disparaging remark he made about women to Deputy Nora Owen. Now you can try and twist it all you like, that's the reality and that's what the record shows. Man, a man. 